Hey, what is up guys, MKBHD here. So earlier today I was sorting some random items on Amazon from most expensive to least expensive, just random stuff, and I came across this paper shredder, which costs $130,000. So that was the inspiration for today's video, uh, which we're gonna talk about the top five most overpriced deals in all of tech. So there are some things that are actually justifiably expensive. Like for example, the $20,000 4K TVs that we saw at CES, they look beautiful, they had insanely high resolutions, but they cost out of this world prices, but they are actually really valuable. They're bleeding edge technology and they actually deserve to be $20,000, at least for right now, but that price will come down. Uh, I can also see things like, you know, studio monitors being a couple thousand dollars, things like that, I can understand. But then there are things that the price just doesn't match the value. The bang for buck ratio is totally out of whack. And that's what this countdown is about. So these things are just straight up overpriced. Number five is AudioQuest HDMI cables. I d do they even know what HDMI cables are? It's a digital signal going through a wire that is not prone to interference at any sort of short distance, but yet these HDMI cables are valued and so highly priced because they have the best, you know, pure silver uh, lining and they have this awesome shielding and they're just transferring the same exact signal that a $3.50 cable from Monoprice provides. Why did these cost over a thousand dollars for a six foot HDMI cable? That is just a little bit ridiculous. Now, just for the record, AudioQuest is not the only one who has done this. There are other companies that have tried the thousand dollar HDMI cable too. Most notably Monster Cable, they did one as well, which is insane. Uh, and yet somehow every single one of these always ends up being in Best Buy and they always have the, the most hilarious reviews on Amazon. They made my pictures look better. They made my TV faster. It's just hilarious, but yeah, so. That cable is just ridiculously overpriced. Number four, printer ink. I'm sure we can all relate to this one. Now, just for the record, I just wanna say that there are printers out there that won't let me print black and white documents because I ran out of magenta ink. Like, that's actually a thing. That there are, there are printers out there that won't let me write and print a text document in all black and white because my yellow or magenta ink cartridge is out of ink. I think that says a lot about the printer industry. Printer ink takes the number four spot because there are actually cases where it's more cost effective to buy several new printers than it is to refill the same printer with more ink over and over again, which is weird, but it's true. It's an actual thing. And these new printers come with ink in them. So I don't know why the ink costs so much. I know that the refills, you know, it's companies like Epson and HP, they try to hype it up and try to justify the cost of, of these printer ink cartridges by saying, you know, there's high technology going into them and they're really efficient and they're really green. But in the end, if the same amount of material in two ketchup packets costs $45, it's overpriced. Number three is cell phone plans. Let's do a little math here. AT&T charges 20 cents per text message, and a single text message is limited to 160 characters tops, which tops out at 160 bytes in size. So one gigabyte of bandwidth can handle about 6.25 million text messages. So multiply those 6.25 million by 20 cents per text, and you'll find that cell phone companies are charging $1.25 million per gigabyte of data for text messaging. That's ridiculous. And there are some other ridiculous things about cell phone companies and the way they charge as well. For example, in the United States, companies like Verizon and AT&T and Sprint and all these guys, they charge you for going over your data caps. So obviously 3G and 4G data, the more data you use, the more they charge you, even though it costs less to implement 4G than it does 3G, they charge you more for it because it happens to be faster. There's a whole bunch of things that are screwed up about the American wireless industry, but text messaging is one of the biggest ones because they can really get you there. So if you don't have a text messaging plan, you're probably in luck because that's really overpriced thing. Number two is the Mac Pro. No mercy, Apple, you saw this coming. You knew this was gonna happen, but the Mac Pro is easily the most overpriced computer that you can buy from retail right now. And the fact that you can still buy it from retail is kind of sad. The Mac Pro, okay, I bought a Hackintosh, built a Hackintosh for less than $2,200. And it had, as you guys saw from the series that I put it together with, 32 gigs of RAM, three SSDs, and six core processor inside. It had a ridiculous amount of great specs. It had a GTX 670 two gigabyte edition graphics card, an amazing computer for $2,200. The baseline Mac Pro, which has six gigabytes of RAM, a regular hard drive, a three-year-old 5870 graphics card, and several other outdated parts comes in at $2,500. As a matter of fact, if you spec out a Mac Pro on Apple's website to the same specs as the Hackintosh that I built for $2,200, you will end up giving Apple somewhere in the ballpark of $6,000, which pretty much earns the number two spot in this countdown. Uh, the Mac Pro is pretty overpriced. And last, but certainly not least, deep and dear in my heart, number one most overpriced in tech 
is the Beats Pro headphones. Now these headphones are part of a family of overpriced Beats by Dre products, starting all the way at the bottom with the Beats Solo HDs, all the way up to the Beats Studios and the Beatbox, Beatbox things like a, like a boom box, sort of an iPod dock. It, it, all of these things are very premiumly priced even though they don't sound that great. The Beats Pros retail uh, at $400 right now. You can get these on Amazon for $400. And don't forget, there's a Beats by Dre Pro Detox Edition, which is, um, a coat of black paint over the top for an extra hundred dollars. Um, yeah, so now that's five hundred dollars. Don't forget, there's a Lil Wayne versions. The, the, you get where I'm going with this. These are part of a long string of celebrity endorsed products, specifically audio products like the Lady Gaga Beats and the Justin Bieber Beats. They all don't sound all that great. And if you can get better sounding headphones like the ATHM50s, for example, for half the price, you've earned your spot into the most overpriced tech. And that's why the Beats Pros come in at number one. They're made of metal, but they sound like they're only made of metal. So there you go, guys. It seems like putting the word pro in the name is a bit of a curse if you're gonna price it high. Uh, also, I have the links to pretty much all the things I just talked about in the description right below the like button on this video, I'm pointing at my crotch right now. But if you wanna check out the things or if you feel like blowing a few million dollars today, you can do that because uh, I put the links down below. Shout outs. Honorable mentions go to my macroeconomics teacher who has a PDF version of his textbook for $200. What the hell? The Sony VIOP. I actually saw someone a couple of years ago using one of these. I didn't know how much it cost. It looked kind of tiny. I thought it was a bit of a netbook. It cost $900. The original Apple Lisa, which was, I guess, a bit of a pioneer in its time, the same way 4K TVs are, but it was a computer that didn't perform very well and it cost $10,000. And this watch, because, you know, there are people out there who will buy that. Anyway, of course, the $130,000 paper shredder will also be in the link in the description below. And if you think about it, all of these things are just hilarious. I don't, I don't understand how people actually buy these. And usually the reviews of them are hilarious too. So read the reviews on Amazon if you want a good laugh. And if you want to blow a few million dollars, buy them. Anyway, thank you for watching. This was just a quick top five video. If you have another suggestion for a top five video, feel free to leave it in the comments section below. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This has just been a quick, fun video. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you guys very soon in the next one. Peace.